Senate President Lawan is not ready to champion constitutional amendment to solve Nigeria's problem. Well, the Speaker of the Ogun State House of Assembly, Olakunle Oluomo, has questioned the willingness of Senate President Amar Lawan to initiate the amendment of Nigeria's constitution to solve the issues of security and disunity in the country. His comment follows Lawan's reaction to call for restructuring by 17 southern governors after a meeting they held in Asaba, the Delta State capital, to find lasting solutions to the challenges facing the country. Daily Post reports that Oluomo described Lawan's comment as a premeditated and response to the genuine agitations of the people. The, pe the speaker, who spoke in an interview with newsmen on Friday, said, Almost everybody in Nigeria is agitating for restructuring since we don't know how we came together in 1949. In 1914, rather, sorry. More so, the southern governors emphasized that they prefer a united Nigeria. Therefore, since they have said they believe in one Nigeria, all we need to do is to restructure, develop or devolve power to the federating states, consider appropriate roles for local government and traditional rulers in a way that would bring peace and expected unity to this country, he said. The lawmaker said Lawan should have reacted by collating the ideas, agitations and opinions of Nigerians and make the National Assembly work together achieving the goal instead of condemning the governors. Oluomo reminded Lawan that during a recent town hall meeting held in Arawa House, Kaduna, there were talks about restructuring saying the Senate president did not condemn them then. Why is he now condemning the southern governors for speaking their people's mind? I'm suspecting him. I don't think the man is ready to think with the constitution of the Fed Federal Republic of Nigeria in a way that will bring lasting peace or give room to amendments that will lead to peace and security with appropriate role to local government as a tier of government. To devolve power to state, review of revenue, sharing formula and other issues that have been the bane of our development in this country, he said. Well, according to Olomo, he says he reminded Lawan that during a recent town hall meeting held in Arewa, Kaduna, there were talks about restructuring saying the Senate president did not even condemn them. But why is he not condemning it now? Because he has thought over it, he believes uh, the he, the restructuring will not favor them. I know it will not favor most of those senators because they are the ones that uh, they are the part of the problem of Nigeria because of the looting and the money they are seeing, you know, sideways. They are the ones you understand, you know, benefiting more. They don't care if anybody dies. They don't care if anything happens to anybody. They don't care if uh, uh, people uh, are not well taken care of. They don't care of the well-being of the masses. They believe. Is the uh, democracy is for them alone, for them and their family, me, myself, and I. So why would they be very selfish and greedy? The killing in the north is is so exorbitant, and they are the northerners. They have not gotten a lasting solution to it. That means they know those that are perpetrating, perpetrating the evil. You know, when it comes to economy, the economy has been, has been jeopardized, and they don't care. They kept borrowing money, borrowing money, and sharing that, sharing it among the, themselves. Their salary is going. Even the minimum wage that is supposed to be 30,000, you know, they needed to have stamped that, but it's still 18,000. And why is that? Because our federal system is not working well. Our federal system, because the true federalism that we adopted, even the, uh, the democracy we adopted from uh, USC, is not, is not even, is not, is not, is nothing to write home about. In developed countries, so many things are working fine. Things are working very, very good. But in this country, they kept borrowing money, they incurred debt. This Buhari administration is just a failure, has failed so many people. Well, Olu Omofoda said that if President Muhammadu Buhari cannot convene a national conference, Lawan should gather legal luminaries, both from the north and the south, and ask them to work on the up opinion of the people to formulate an idea for the National Assembly. Yes, that's just what is going to happen. When they were campaigning for election, they sought for the opinion of the people, they sought for vote, you know, started campaigning, you know, promising to heaven and earth, telling people to go outside and vote, you understand? They told them to go outside and vote. People, opinion were counting then. People votes counted then. Now that the people are demanding for restructuring, they said their opinion does not count. 
that they don't want restructuring. Why wouldn't they want restructuring? Are they the owner of Nigeria? So that's what they are telling us that they are the owner of Nigeria. They don't want restructuring. So many things have been faulty. Well, in this nation, Nigeria, it's only God. But notwithstanding, we are supposed, you know, fight our battles ourselves. Well, from so many reactions, I have said it that this Senate president should be impeached before anything. Well, let me even reply this person. Yes, the Senate president may not be impeached or be impeached because it's not even the major problem we have in Nigeria. But come to think of it, if Buhari is not even capable, the Northern Allies and the Northern Carbans uh, don't, don't really want Oshiba Jodi to become the president. I don't know why. The vice president and the president should be working hand in hand. All this meeting that is even, you know, uh, erupting, they should carry the vice president along. Since they say Buhari is incompetent and is sick and is incoherent, is having dementia, that is loss of memory. You carry your vice along. Like, for instance, uh, Governor Zulum of uh, uh, Borno State. When he, wa- he was going for vacation, he knew that even if the vacation is going to last for a month or thereabouts, even if it's not going to last for a month, he, he said he wants his deputy to take over. So that he then let's try other hands. Maybe uh, the, uh, the uh, Boko Haram or the insurgency have his hatred at heart. That's why they, keep, they kept bombing. But when he traveled, the same thing still persists. The Boko Haram did not still stop, but at least he gave power to the uh, deputy. To rule at least well according to uh, someone says lawan should be asked to resign or better still he would he should vacate the senate entirely he like his likes should be flushed out of governance well if buari is going to be impeached or resign these people also will go alongside but on the other hand the restructuring of nigeria is so paramount they should revolt against him and get him out of that position if he does not want to restructure the country. Lawan is not worthy to be a Senate president. He does not know why he is there for the first place. Talk of the duty of a Senate president. How many motions has he raised since he became a senator? His dreams were just to sit down at the head of the state's president seat with his big head like catfish head. Well, shiny eyes like big opolo. Well, if they, they, even if they, they, he's going to be impeached, there are due processes. Do you understand? But what the Southern governors really want is to, for restructuring, if there is a state policy, a state policy, everybody in the state, state should have its own policy. Then after a, a thorough deliberation from the state governors, they'll take their portfolio back to, uh, to the federal level for you know, stamping. They would have concluded and the federal government will give them authori- authorization to go about it. When APC members begin to see light and speak out like this, then there will be a possibility in saving Nigeria. Well, everybody is affected. You either APC nor PDP, we are all affected. Okay, replying to that, I say, are you surprised by what is coming out of the mouth of the Senate president? When he already told you from the beginning that they will dine and sink with the executive whether good or bad when we add a qualified and capable senate president like saraki instead of supporting him we join the propaganda machine of apc to call him names and abuse him and they gave us this very one well nigeria is doomed the fulani people do not really want to structure him i better say that was uh, no reading a report yesterday the fulani uh, leaders according to me they say they are also ready to break up from Nigeria. Well, what we really need now is restructuring. Even if there's going to be breakup or secession or thereabouts, because the Uruguay people are agitating for secession, the Biafra also are agitating for uh, secession. So, breakup, if there is going to be breakup, but Nigeria still needs to be restructured, or the country needs to be restructured so that the breakup will go easily. But it's to take a due process. Well, uh, lastly, I'll be saying. Well, the Senate president should expect uh, Nathana will ever tamper with the status quo by way of restructuring because it is a system that got them to the, their, to the position, yes. Either the civil service, judiciary, or poli- police policies or executive, the earlier the South understood this, the better. I said it earlier. Uh, if he does not want to seek opinion of the masses, 
But for you should remember that it was the masses that you know voted him to that position. If the masses did not vote Buhari in, he uh, wouldn't have gotten into that position. Well, this is where I'm going to stop for now. I'd like you to share your comment and don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel at Independent TV 7.